Broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good morning, everyone. This is Adam Welch here with Insurance Agency Marketing Services. It is Single Premium by Friday here, so thank you very much for taking some of your time out of your Friday mornings to join us. Uh, we are going to be taking a look today at... Uh, Pretty unique niche type of concept here, but certainly very relevant and a concept that's been gaining a lot of uh, traction here with, with us here at IAMS. And that is uh, the topic of qualified single premium life and using qualified funds and uh, transitioning those funds into a wealth transfer strategy. So we feel this is a, a great market for you to uh, look into. Chances are working with any senior clients, you're going to have some prospects and, and clients that would benefit from this strategy that would fit the, the profile for this type of concept. So it can be a great way to help you get out there and generate some new sales and uh, uh, generate some additional revenue and provide a, a greater service to your clients. So I feel we have a great presentation put together for you here. We'll get to that here in just a moment, but uh, I do want to take a couple of moments here early on and just uh, let you know as we go through the presentation if you do have any questions please don't hesitate to type those in the question box on your control panel and send those over happy to uh, take a look at questions and get those answered additionally on some of the introductory slides we're going to go through here in just a moment there are going to be a couple of poll questions as always your participation in those poll questions is always greatly appreciated it'll help us get some additional information out to you on some relevant topics that may be of interest to you so with that before we dig into the topic of today's webinar in qualified single premium life always just want to take a few moments to go through uh, some exciting things going on with us here at Insurance Agency Marketing Services. And make sure everyone's well aware uh, of the great rewards, services, and incentives that we have available for you to take advantage of with us here at IAMS. So the first items I want to visit with you about are a couple of great business builders. And these are some great ways to get additional uh, like some additional cash in your pocket. First one I want to visit about is our Referred Producer Bonus Program. So just like you all out there in the field, the most qualified lead you can receive and the highest compliment you can receive is a referral from an existing client or someone in your network that uh, knows you and the type of work that you do. Uh, I don't care how much you're paying for your lead program currently, uh, a referral is going to be the, the warmest lead you can ever receive out there. And the same holds true with us here at IAMS. So, uh, if you know of anyone out there in the field that is doing business in the life of new markets, but not doing business with us here at IAMS, if they benefit from working with us here at IAMS, we want to encourage you to make that introduction and pass them along to us. So uh, with that, we have our Referred Producer Bonus Program. And how this works is anytime you pass us along a referral, we're going to cut you a check for $50 right off the bat when that referral contracts with one or more of our carriers. So right off the bat, we'll cut you a $50 check just for uh, passing that name along. And then once that referral starts writing business is really where you can get some additional cash in your pocket. So we're going to pay a $100 uh, bonus or even more based on that business uh, when that referral starts writing uh, life and annuity cases with us. I just kind of rough numbers here. We'll, we will pay you a 20 basis point override on that referrals business as long as that referral is contracted with us and right in business with us and you're going to get that referral bonus so you can see in this example uh, on the screen here if you were to refer over three producers and each one of those producers were a million dollar a year producers let's just call it combined annuity and single premium life business that would equate to another six thousand dollars cash in your pocket just for making the introduction and passing them along to us. So uh, not doing anything more than saying, hey, I, I think you need to give this agent uh, John Smith a call. Uh, could really benefit from working with, with IAMS. We'll take it from there. Uh, and that could equate to, in this example, up to $6,000 cash in your pocket just for making that introduction. So we certainly want to encourage you to, to think of us for your referrals and in and reward you for uh, passing those referrals along. A uh, quick note, that referral bonus is not coming out of that referrals commission. It's not coming out of your commission. That's coming out of our pocket directly to you. It's not impacting any of your other incentives out there that you uh, may be taking advantage of already. So that is out of our pocket to you as a thank you for making that introduction. We do also have a, a very 
uh, attractive marketing reimbursement program here as well. So uh, we know, you know, being out there, part of your job is marketing yourself, building your business, and constantly staying in front of uh, new folks out there. So uh, we want to help cost share in those expenses that you incur out there. How this program works, again, just rough numbers. Uh, we'll set aside, you know, $100 in marketing reimbursement dollars per $100,000 in premium that you write with us be it uh, uh, dollar for dollar for annuity premium, single premium life, and that is prorated for target life premium as well. So basically, the more business you write with us here at IAMS, the more that marketing reimbursement account is going to grow. And those funds are yours to use how you see fit. As long as it's really uh, geared towards marketing yourself and building your business, send us the receipts for those expenses and we'll cut you a check for up to half of those expenses based on what you have in that account. So a great way to cut your marketing expenses potentially in half based on the level of business you write with us here at IAMS. So a great call sharing program in your um, uh, marketing and business building expenses out there. We do have a great new producer bonus program. And this program is geared towards Getting those of you that are new to us here at IAMS, getting you uh, uh, in the door here and, and writing business with us uh, early on here. So perhaps those referrals that you pass along to us, this would be uh, a great program for them to take advantage of and start reaping some of the, the rewards that we have here. So uh, this is rewarding new producers to us here at IAMS based on the production that they write with us in the first six months of being contracted with one or more of our carriers. We have three different tiers to choose to cash in on. Once you cash in at the 100, 300, or five hundred thousand dollar level, that's the new producer bonus. That's it's done after that. But uh, a great way to to get some additional rewards based on the business you write in the first six months. So just going through these quickly, uh, if you write a total of $100,000 in business with us, annuity, single premium life, and again, prorated numbers for target life premium, that can qualify for one of those great rewards in that uh, upper left-hand part of the screen. Most popular is going to be the $750 cash bonus. If you have over $100,000 to write and you can hit that $300,000 level, the rewards, of course, uh, get a little bit better from there. So we do have a, a full Social Security marketing program that comes along with a 3,000-piece mailing to help get some additional leads in the door for you. Uh, can boost your marketing reimbursement account with $2,000, or that $750 cash bonus increases to a $1,500 Visa gift card. Alternatively, if you in your first six months, uh, have more than 300000 and can hit that uh, $500,000 level, uh, we have a couple of other great business building rewards for you to take advantage of. So uh, Matt Gill and Dave Pemper, two of our elite producers, uh, always qualify for all of our marketing summits and top producer trips and, and roundtables here. And uh, uh, they have built their business around seminar marketing. It's how they've generated their, their new business, and uh, it's how they've built their business to the elite level that it is today. Two different uh, seminar type of concepts, but both very effective. So if you hit that half a million dollar level, you can choose the seminar system with Matt Gill that comes along with a 5,000 piece mailing to fill that seminar, and then uh, some great coaching from Matt Gill on how to deliver that seminar effectively. Alternatively, uh, you could choose Dave Pimper's seminar system, Comes with a 4,000 piece mailing again to help fill that seminar, and then uh, some equ equally as great uh, coaching with Dave Pemper on uh, delivering that seminar system effectively. Uh, alternatively, you could choose to uh, customize your own vacation with our Ritz Carlton Travel Rewards Package. So that's at the $500,000 level, and that is our new producer bonus 100, 300, or $500,000 in your first six months of being contracted with us can qualify for one of those great rewards. So uh, keep that in mind. Again, another way of us saying thank you for uh, your business that you place with us here at IAMS. Our back office support is something we really pride ourselves on. Uh, we've been around for 32 years now, and the primary reason for that is the level of personal attention and uh, care you get from us here at IAMS. So we really pride ourselves on the service we provide the independent advisor out there. We know your job's not easy. There's a lot that falls on your shoulders. We recognize that. We want to really be your full back office here at IAMS. So we want to help shoulder some of that back office admin stuff that falls on your shoulders. We want to shift some of that to our plate so you can be more efficient out there in the field and focus on the things that matter most to you, and that's meeting with clients and prospects and making those sales. So with that, we provide what we like to call submission to commission support. 
So here on the, the life and annuity side, we will provide full case design pre-sale uh, support. So we'll, we'll help you with the case design, product selection, running quotes for you, getting everything put together that you need to write the case and talk you through even, you know, delivering the, the presentation and, and uh, presenting the, the solutions for uh, that particular client's situation. Once that business is written, you write the application. We encourage you to send that back in to us and we'll have our uh, talented uh, new business team on the life and annuity side review those applications and scrub them to make sure they're going to be in good order before they hit the carrier that's going to cut down on processing time. On the life side, if you write a fully underwritten life case, we'll actually order your exams and labs if you uh, prefer out of here. So taking more of that responsibility from you, we can coordinate uh, with the exam and lab providers uh, out there to, to schedule those, those requirements. And then uh, from there, we will keep following up on the business. If there's a 1035 exchange involved, we'll keep pushing uh, the transferring company and keep pushing the uh, new company to make sure that business is getting moved through the process as quickly as possible so we can get that case placed and get you paid as quickly as possible. So submission to commission support, uh, our full back office uh, mentality here at IAMS uh, really kind of sets us apart and uh, we, we truly mean we provide top-notch service out there uh, to the independent advisor. Uh, we do have a full creative marketing department here. So those of you uh, that may not be aware, we do have a, a great team here. Tasia and Josh and their team do some uh, significant, uh, remarkable work in the creative department. So we can help you with a broad range of, of items here. We have some turnkey solutions that are uh, really just professionally written, uh, ready to go materials, be it flyers, brochures, uh, handouts, whatever the case may be. They're professionally written, ready to go. We just customize it with your information on there and they're ready to be sent out or even printed out to uh, leave on a table in your lobby uh, while your appointments are, are waiting. Uh, we do have full agency solutions and what falls under agency solutions is going to be uh, brand management and brand design. So we can help you actually uh, build a brand around your business and uh, create that message to get out there to prospects and clients. We can help you with logo design and, and getting that brand messaging put on uh, business cards and any advertising materials you may have and different uh, marketing brochures. Then we can also assist you on the digital front as well. So more and more marketing is being done digitally. Uh, through email marketing, uh, social media marketing, we, we can provide social media consulting. We can also assist you with websites and you know building a website or perhaps giving uh, your existing website a fresh look and update with some uh, additional content out there. So a wide range of, of areas we can assist you with on the creative side. Uh, we are not in the creative business to make money, so you'll find that our uh, pricing is very competitive with what you might find at your local advertising or PR firm. And if you're writing a business with us, a lot of these items are available free of charge as well. So uh, if you have interest in learning more about what we can do for you on the creative side, I encourage you to give us a call and ask to speak with our creative department. Uh, Josh, Tasia, Andrew, they'd, they'd all be more than welcome to, or more than happy to visit with you about what we can do for you. Our website, this is really a tremendous resource uh, available at your fingertips, www.iamsinc.com. Of course, it's online, so it's available 24-7. If you're in a pinch and it's after hours and you need a term quote or you need an application, all of that is available on the back end of our website uh, at iamsinc.com. So if you've not yet gone out and registered for our website uh, for um, an account to log in and get access to this great information, I certainly encourage you to do so as soon as possible. A lot of great materials out there. As I mentioned, our term quoting engines out there. We have a forms engine, uh, links to relevant industry um, uh, sources, keep you up to uh, speed on what's going on in the industry. We also do have a uh, robust sales resource library out there. There's a lot of information in that sales resource library, everything from uh, fact finders and even pre-approved client presentations you can incorporate uh, to some different uh, marketing ideas and marketing systems out there. So a lot of great information. I certainly encourage you to take advantage of that sales resource library. Our retirement analyzer software, uh, this is a tremendous piece of software to incorporate into your business. This is going to do a number of things for you and, and for your business and for your uh, clients and prospects, uh, truthfully. Uh, it's really going to help take your business more from a transactional um, based system to 
um, more of a holistic based system where you can actually prove to, to clients how uh, working with you and implementing your solutions is going to impact their overall scenario. So this will actually show how incorporating, uh, be it an annuity product with uh, some guaranteed income in there, is going to impact their overall retirement situation and uh, show the, the impacts of an untimely death or uh, perhaps a, a severe illness uh, can have on an overall uh, retirement plan. So system is really designed to answer those six questions on the screen uh, that you see at the bottom of the screen there. And uh, Marcus Solar here in our office in Annuity Marketing is the point, po uh, point person for the Retirement Analyzer software. Very well versed in the program and what it can do for you and how to implement it. If you have interest in learning more about um, the software, it is free to qualifying agents with us here at IAM. So Marcus would be happy to visit with you in a bit more detail about the software and how we can make that available to you. Okay, IMS Wealth Management, and this is going to bring us to our first poll question of the day. And as I mentioned, you know, with that uh, retirement analyzer software, uh, helping take your business from a transaction-based business to more of a holistic side uh, in planning-based business, wealth management really fits into that uh that scenario very well here. So uh, we have launched our own registered investment advisor here, and that is IMS Wealth Management. So we can no longer assist you with only your uh, insurance and fix and fix index annuity needs of your business, but we can now also assist you and your clients on the wealth planning, wealth management side with fee-based asset management. Uh, regardless if you're an existing advisor out there with current assets under management, we have a, a tremendous transition uh, program put in place to help move that book of business over. And then our platform is set up to where, uh, you know, it fits in with our whole goal here of helping you be uh, working smarter and not harder out there, being more efficient out there in the field. So uh, IMS Wealth Management is no different. We're going to uh, really be your full back office solution here and help you out with the uh, compliance aspect and and the ongoing asset management aspect so we can shoulder more of that you're not going to be bogged down with the day-to-day -day, you know trading and and the allocation of of the funds will be your operational arm that takes care of that for you so you can focus on meeting with clients and prospects building those relationships and gathering those assets if you're not currently working in in fee-based asset management but maybe looking at uh, uh, Stepping into that area, we have a great program set up to help you get prepared to pass the uh, Series 65 exam and uh, get registered with IMS Wealth and, and help you get going and, and jump into fee-based asset management uh, and introduce this to your clients and, and new prospects out there. So there's a number of reasons to consider doing so. Uh, one of them is going to be, of course, increased revenue. It's another product line, another service that you can offer your clients out there uh, that's going to generate recurring revenue. So instead of making your commissions on insurance and annuity sales, uh, where it's uh, generally just one and done, of course, some exceptions out there, and fee-based asset management, management world, you're going to generate recurring revenue based on the fees that you have, uh, you're generating on those assets under your management. So it's going to be recurring revenue, predictable revenue, and you're likely going to see an increase in your insurance and uh, fix and index business as well, being more of a holistic advisor. That's going to go a long way into improving client retention. You can help your clients with more uh, concerns that they have out there instead of seeing some of this asset management business uh, rolling down the street to the next advisor, uh, you can help uh, clients with more of their overall planning needs, and that goes a long way to strengthening those client relationships as well. So uh, those of you that responded yes to that poll question, we will get some additional information out to you on IMS Wealth Management and uh, how we could possibly be a good fit for your your AUM business. Um, if you haven't yet uh, responded to that poll, please do so quickly. I'm going to close that out and keep us moving here, but uh, uh, we will get some additional information out to those of you that responded yes. All right. The item I want to visit about is our Life and Annuity Academy, and this is actually going to bring us to the second poll question of the day. Very simply, would you be interested in attending an all expense paid life and annuity academy. Uh, clicking yes on this poll question does not necessarily commit you and lock you into attending. It's just saying, hey, I, I'm interested. I'd like to you know, be kept up to date on future dates of the meetings and get some additional information. So uh, you may have heard me say uh, an all expense paid life and annuity academy, and it is truly an all expense paid trip. Uh, we will take care of your 
uh, flight, hotel, meals, all of that is on us. It just costs you a couple of days out of your time. And what you get for those two days uh, that you're not going to be in the field, we know that's very expensive in and of itself, taking some time away from the field. Uh, you're going to get a ton of information uh, related to helping you build your life and annuity business. So this is unlike uh, any training event that you may have attended out there in the past. Uh, we really pride ourselves on the level of information that we uh, present at these meetings. It is not a product roadshow where we're going to bring in carrier reps to just go over their products and why you should sell their product. There is, of course, some product information out there and product training. However, the bulk of the information is going to be geared towards giving you some different marketing ideas and sales strategies and sales tools to incorporate in your business to help you boost your production. So uh, we'll cover everything from uh, some different sales strategies from some of our top producing advisors that we'll bring in to talk. Uh, if you'll recall, Matt Gill and Dave Pemper from the new producer bonus slide, they will be out going over their seminar system and talk about how seminar marketing has worked for them and how it is still a very relevant uh, prospecting strategy. Uh, they'll go over, uh, provide an overview of their seminar system and even make that available uh, to folks that are interested in getting into seminar marketing or perhaps trying a new approach with seminar marketing. We'll go over some different, uh, uh, of course, industry uh, trends and threats on the life and annuity side. Uh, talk about some different large life case marketing uh, concepts from your business insurance concepts with buy, sell, key person, executive bonus, traditionally higher premium life cases, to wealth transfer strategies with single premium life and some unique trust products that we uh, have available. We'll also go over some different software tools, including the Retirement Analyzer uh, system as well. So a lot of great information that we throw at you over the, the course of the two days. And our hope is that, you know, maybe one or two of those items are really going to resonate with you and are going to be items that you can take back and implement in your business to uh, see a nice boost in your production in the life and annuity markets. So with that, it uh, looks like the majority of you did respond to that poll. Thank you very much to those of you showing interest in that. We will get some additional information out to you following the webinar. The final item I want to visit about before we get into Qualified Single Premium Life today is our 2019 IMS Marketing Summit. Uh, we have recently announced location for uh, the next meeting. It is going to be held August 25th through the 29th of 2019 down in gorgeous Naples, Florida at the Ritz-Carlton down there. So i uh, really excited about this meeting. Uh, we are currently in the invitational period, so you can see uh, how to qualify on the screen here for the Marketing Summit. Virtually any piece of business you write with us here at IAMS is going to give you credit towards uh, qualifying for that marketing summit. You can see single premium life is uh, certainly a little more advantageous. Uh, the more single premium business you write, the more credits you're going to get for that marketing summit. So uh, invitational period started January 1 this year, runs through June 30th, 2019. And again, it is going to be held out in Naples, Florida, August 25th through the 29th. So put that on your calendars. Uh, let us know what you're working on, what we can help you with uh, to help uh, get you qualified for that uh, great meeting. With that, going to Go ahead and jump into the topic of today's webinar, and that is Qualified Single Premium Life. Here at IONS on Life Side, we do, a, a, in all honesty, a lot of business in single premium life. It's an uh, area that our advisors continue to see a lot of traction and in introducing to their clients and prospects. Uh, really have had a lot of success going back to their existing prospects instead of buying new leads, uh, going back to their existing clients and prospects and just asking a few additional questions. And, and being able to uncover some assets that are going to be prime for wealth transfer concepts. And qualified single premium life certainly fits that mold as a way that uh, you can generate some new uh, revenue from existing clients and rekindle that relationship, perhaps if it's been a while since you've uh, been out there with those existing clients. So qualified single premium life um, really is out there, a uh, unique concept to address a, a unique problem. So uh, basically the problem here is there is a massive amount of wealth that is projected to be transferred annually for the next uh, decade or so to the next generation. A large portion of that uh, wealth that's going to be transferred 
is going to be qualified funds. It's going to be taxable to the next generation that inherits that. And that presents a large problem for that next generation. There's going to be a large tax problem. So here, if you have clients that have qualified funds, they're not currently taking distributions from them. They really don't envision they're going to need distributions from them in their lifetime because they have sufficient income from other sources. You know, maybe they're fortunate enough to have a, a good pension and Social Security and some other sources, and that's going to be uh, sufficient income for uh, clients during retirement years. These IRAs that they've uh, funded over their working years really no longer needed for future income purposes. The goal with those funds has shifted to um, more legacy purposes, and clients want to leave those funds more efficiently to their beneficiaries. Um, also, uh, with long-term care, many senior clients come to the realization that they're likely going to need long-term care. The excuse me, statistics uh, show they're likely going to uh, need long-term care during their lifetime, and qualified single premium life can certainly be a way to address that that concern as well. So the solution is qualified single premium life in these situations with qualified funds and even non-qualified funds that may have a large taxable gain associated with them. So these products are combo products that were designed to help diffuse that tax transfer, diffuse that tax time bomb we like to say here. These products are uh, issued on non-med underwriting uh, basis so they're simplified issue, there's no um, no paramed exam, no lab work involved in the underwriting. The underwriting generally consists of just a uh, quick health question on the app, uh, health questionnaire on the application, and a phone interview, and a check of the MIB Medical Information Bureau and the prescription database. And those items put together are enough for the <clears throat> pardon me for the company to make a decision on issuing the policy or uh, declining the policy. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about um, the underwriting here as it applies to the specific products that we'll dig into. But uh, these are non-medical underwriting products, simplified issue. Um, another option could be going the route of uh, a fully underwritten plan and kind of creating our own combo product here. Um, so the combo product is basically a, a single premium immediate annuity and a limited pay life policy uh, for clients that are more on the healthy side of the spectrum. A fully underwritten plan may be more advantageous if they'd be willing to go through exams and labs. And we can really kind of work with you to create our own combo solution to help diffuse that tax transfer. So what we're going to hone in on here today are going to be two of the simplified issue single premium life, uh, qualified single premium life products from National Western Life and Baltimore Life. So we're going to take a look at National Western Life uh, first, and their product is called the Lifetime Return Solutions. Uh, National Western, great company, uh, A-rated by AM Best, based out of Texas. Um, just a quick overview of the product here. Uh, this is an index universal life that's funded by a single premium and median annuity. So uh, basically, the qualified funds will go into the lifetime return solutions. It's, it's a, a combo product with two underlying products. Those funds are going to go into the single premium and median annuity, and that annuity is going to fund the limited pay life policy directly internally. So this... Uh, particular plan with National Western is available on ages uh, 45 up to 85. The 5 pay option with the SPIA is available up to age 85 and the 10 pay is available up to age 80. This product does have a minimum face amount requirement of $25,000 uh, so really not a, a significant concern when we're talking about qualified funds generally those are going to be uh, some larger amounts that we're transferring into this but it does have that minimum face amount of twenty five thousand. very versatile to accommodate some uh, different size cases the maximum face amount is going to be determined based on the net amount at risk at issue so i can see the the net amount at risk uh, based on different age brackets, and that's going to determine the maximum premium. So maximum premium is not quite as cut and dry as, you know, you can only put uh, $400,000 in this product. It's going to be based uh, on the client's age at issue. Uh, this does have a terminal illness rider, uh, no chronic illness or, or critical illness. Uh, in that respect, only the terminal illness accelerated death, death benefit. So if the client is uh, diagnosed with a terminal illness, life expectancy of 12 months or less, they have the opportunity to accelerate uh, the death benefit up to $250,000 or 75% of the death benefit, whichever is less. 
uh, to help pay for some of those uh, expenses that come along with uh, that terminal illness. The underwriting here, as I mentioned earlier, uh, simplified issue, not medically underwritten. We have a little bit of room to work with here. Uh, anybody that is going to uh, fall within standard through table five is going to be issued. So um, even clients with some health concerns out there, uh, don't walk away from a potential sale just because you think the client's uninsurable. Give us a call. Give us a, an idea of, of the health situation of the client. We can assist you on the field underwriting, and more than likely, we'll be able to find a, a home for that case uh, based on that, that health status. So we do have some room to work with, again, standard through table five for this product to be issued. Um, <clears throat> no paramed exam or labs involved uh, with this. The underwriting consists of the health questionnaire on the application, a phone interview with the company. National Western will actually give you an instant decision, give you, the agent, an instant underwriting decision over the phone once that interview is completed. And this is underwriting for mortality only, so it's not uh, an area where we're looking at morbidity factors like health insurance or health-based products. Uh, this is for mortality only, so it's a different type of underwriting approach. Unique features of this product, as we just saw here, uh, table standard through table five uh, for the underwriting, you get an instant underwriting decision, and you do have uh, clients do have liquidity with this as well, uh, with 10% penalty free withdrawals. Benefits of this: there's going to be a tax-free transfer at death. So as we're going to see here, I, I have a sample illustration that should be on the next slide here. Um, we are the whole goal here is taking a once taxable asset and passing it income tax-free. And we'll talk about how that's accomplished here on the next slide. Uh, we're going to get tax deferral on the cash value. So uh, it's going to grow income tax deferred, just like it, it was uh, in the annuity. But the benefit there, of course, is going to be the end value that that death benefit is going to pass income tax-free to the beneficiaries, where that IRA that is still growing tax deferred uh, would be uh, a tax obligation for the beneficiaries. We have the opportunity for uh, some generous growth potential here because this is an index universal life. So we have uh, some ability to capture some of those upside gains on the market with that downside protection, just like any index product out there. There's liquidity uh, during the insured's lifetime in the form of those 10% penalty free withdrawals. And then of course that death benefit because this is ultimately a life insurance policy, that death benefit is gonna pass income tax free to uh, beneficiaries. So as we can see here, and a lot of, lot of information up here, but I have the two pages of uh, the ledger uh, pulled up here on the slide. As we can see, this is ran on a 65-year-old female uh, non-tobacco. So to give you a, an idea of how this product would work, 65-year-old um, female has a $100,000 IRA up there. Um, she spent her, her working life funding that IRA and, and uh, has sufficient income coming from other sources and really doesn't envision needing that $100,000 for future income during her retirement years. She wants to leave that as a nest egg for her kids and grandkids. So after uh, talking with her a bit uh, more about some of the benefits here in her situation, determined that the National Western Lifetime Return Solution could be uh, an option to transfer that wealth more effectively. So that $100,000 is going to go into the Lifetime Return Solution, and ultimately it's going to go into the single premium median annuity. At her age 65, we chose the Tim Pay option uh, to help spread the tax obligation out over 10 years. So instead of uh, taking an, an alternate approach and uh, telling uh, a client to take a uh, distribution, liquidate that, that IRA, surrender it from wherever it is, and, uh, and then take those proceeds after tax and dump them into a traditional single premium life. This is a way to leverage that full $100,000 IRA and uh, make it more tax efficient, not only for the beneficiaries, but for the client as well. So utilizing a 10 pay SPIA uh, gives us the opportunity to spread that tax obligation out over 10 years instead of adding $100,000 of taxable income in one year to the client's uh, bottom line. So what's happening here, that 100,000 goes into the SPIA, that SPIA is going to generate annual premium payments of $11,161.
that amount is going to be paid right into the policy every year for 10 years, and the client's going to get a 1099 from the company each year for 10 years based on $11,161. So a lot more efficient than taking a $100,000 liquidation in one year. What that's going to do, that 100000 is going to turn into a guaranteed death benefit of $166,582. So on the guaranteed assumption side here, absolute worst case scenario, we have a guaranteed death benefit, minimum death benefit of 166,582. And we can see hopping over here to the other page, that is guaranteed for her life all the way out to maturity age 121. No other premiums are due, this is guaranteed. On the non-guaranteed side, things get a little bit better here because it is an IUL. So we can see the growth in the cash value based on the performance of the underlying index uh, selections. We have that um, level death benefit for 10 years while the policy is being funded from that SPIA, but then it starts increasing each year with the performance from that IUL. Um, the greater that cash value grows, the more that death benefit can grow over and above the guaranteed minimum. So it gives the opportunity to leave not only just a level uh, benefit legacy to the beneficiaries, it gives the opportunity to leverage that $100,000 even more uh, and, and pass that more efficiently to the beneficiaries. So you can see, you know, going out here to age 90, you know, that 100000 is is more than doubled, $203,956. Uh, that's going to be income tax free. Again, a, a once taxable $100,000 IRA to beneficiaries is now uh, at age 90, a 200, over $200,000 income tax free to beneficiaries. So a great way to provide some, some great leverage on qualified funds not needed for income, diffuse that tax time bomb for the client, and more significantly, diffuse that tax time bomb for the beneficiaries. So that is the Lifetime Return Solutions product from National Western. Um, along with the product comes uh, great commissions as well. So it's going to uh, not only reward the client and the beneficiary very handsomely, but you as well as the agent. So uh, commissions here start at 11%, ages 45 to 75, and you can see um, the, the different rates for the different ages down uh, below that. But starting at 11%, certainly an attractive commission rate. I don't know of an annuity out there that's that's paying uh, quite that high. Um, but again, I work on the life marketing side here at IAM. So uh, the second product I want to visit about here, keep us moving along, is the uh, Generation Legacy product from Baltimore Life. Baltimore Life, they've been around for a, a quite some time. Uh, Great company to work with, great service, and uh, some pretty competitive products. They've really honed in on this niche in uh, not only single premium life, but qualified single premium life as well. So an overview of the Generation Legacy, uh, same type of concept as National Western uh, Lifetime Return Solutions. Uh, it, this is still a uh, combo product with a single premium immediate annuity along with a limited pay life policy. Uh, the difference here is the SPIA payment period is going to be determined based on the client's age. So uh, issue ages on this product are 60 up to 80. Those clients that are 60 to 74 will get a 10 pay product and 75 to 80 will get a seven pay product. This is a whole life product. So a little bit of a different concept than the National Western where National Western was an IUL. Baltimore Life is on a, a whole life chassis. So uh, we're going to get a level death benefit. We're going to get guaranteed cash value accumulation. Uh, there's you know, no kind of what if, if you will, uh, with the IUL. It's guaranteed cash values. Everything you see on the page is guaranteed. The minimum premium is going to be based on a SPIA payout of only $5,000, and that's total. So uh, this can accommodate a wide range of scenarios. Uh, certainly nobody is, is really, <coughs> pardon me. Uh, remove from uh, uh, this concept uh, can accommodate a, a large range of, of different client situations. The maximum death benefit with this is going to be 450000 so they're going to cap the premium at whatever it takes to generate a, a death benefit of $450,000. But some unique parts with the Generation Legacy that uh, uh, offer some additional benefits over the, the National Western Plan is going to be the accelerated benefits that are included in this. So we not only have terminal illness, which allows up to 75% of the death benefit to be accelerated up to a maximum of $250,000. 
It also has uh, accelerated benefits built in for nursing care and uh, chronic illness needs or home health care needs. So if the client's confined to a qualified nursing care facility or if they're certified by a physician is unable to perform two of the six ADLs and needs home health care, they can accelerate up to 50% of the policy's death benefit in a lump sum up to a maximum of 250000 again, but uh, accelerate up to 50% of the death benefit in a lump sum to help pay for some of those expenses. So not only are your clients going to benefit from uh, transferring that qualified money more efficiently to beneficiaries, this is also a great alternative to get some additional uh, funds available on an advantage basis to help pay for future health expenses if the client becomes ill or can't perform two of the six ADLs. So great way to uh, get some potential long-term care benefits out there. Of course, this is not long-term care insurance. This is life insurance with accelerated benefits, but a great opportunity to get some additional funds to help cover some of those uh, qualified care expenses. The underwriting here, uh, same type of story. It is simplified issue, so no exams, no labs. Uh, this product we have uh, standard through table four to work with, so it can still get some folks that may have some health impairments, some health concerns out there, very likely we can get them in with that standard through table four underwriting. Uh, same type of underwriting process with the health questionnaire on the application and then a phone interview with the company, uh, check of the MIB and prescription database. Once that's completed on the phone interview, uh, you, the agent, will again get an immediate underwriting decision right there on the phone. So you'll know right away whether or not this is approved or declined. And of course, again, we're underwriting for mortality purposes here, not morbidity, uh, life insurance taking that different underwriting approach than, than health-focused products. Tax withholding, uh, important to note here, um, with Baltimore Life, uh, the product is not set up to be able to withhold taxes from SPIA payments. So it is important to make sure that uh, if you're exploring the Baltimore Life Generation Legacy that the client is going to have sufficient assets to pay the taxes on those SPIA payments each year. Uh, the product is really not designed to be able to withhold taxes. Uh, it, it just doesn't quite work out. Unique features of this. You are going to get that immediate uh, underwriting approval, immediate issue, and right now we're seeing about a 90% approval rate with Baltimore Life in this product, so uh, very high approval rates out there. Uh, again, don't walk away from a potential sale because you feel the client is uninsurable. There's a lot of health concerns. Give us a call and give us a rundown of those health concerns, and again, we'll help you with the field underwriting uh, aspect of things, and more than likely we'll be able to find a home for that. So uh, again, no more walking away from sales. Give us a call and uh, let us know and we'll see see what we can do. Uh, this does underwrite up to a table four. Get the lump sum benefits for uh, nursing care and home health care needs. No checks are received by the client from the SPIA. So just like National Western, this policy is funded internally. The uh, transfer from the SPIA to the life policy is taken care of at the company. The client's just going to get a 1099 each year, and there's no ongoing you know, insurance premiums with this. It is a true single premium where that uh, qualified money goes into the product, and the client doesn't have to pay any more premiums into that policy. Benefits of this, again, we're going to get a tax-free transfer at death to the beneficiaries, turning a once taxable asset to beneficiaries into income tax-free and providing immediate leverage, immediate significant leverage in many cases uh, on th that qualified account. Life insurance, again, those guaranteed cash values with this whole life product are going to grow income tax deferred. There is liquidity available. Uh, while the insured is living. So if uh, it does come down to it and the client needs access to some of those funds, they do have liquidity in the form of policy loans. And they do have the, uh, the long-term care benefits, uh, accelerated benefits for nursing care and, and home health care needs. So here, taking a look at a couple pages of uh, a sample illustration, taking a look at the same 65-year-old client uh, looking at a 65-year-old female non-tobacco with that same $100,000 IRA. That $100,000 IRA is going to go into the generation legacy. And again, we have the combo product of the single premium media annuity and the limited pay life policy. Based on her age at 65, this is going to qualify for the 10-year product. So we're going to get 
annual SPIA payments of $11,140. So just moving uh, across the screen here from left to right, $100,000 single premium, gonna kick out $11,140 a year for 10 years. That's paid directly into the life insurance policy. Again, client's not gonna receive a check from Baltimore Life and then have to turn that check back around to Baltimore Life to pay the premium. It's all taken care of internally. The client will just receive a 1099 each year for 10 years for that $11,140 to represent their uh, taxable obligation on that. So we can see this is qualified money. So the estimated taxable income here is going to be the full amount of 11140 If this was non-qualified money with uh, a large taxable gain, then we would have the exclusion ratio where a portion of each payment over 10 years uh, would be taxable. That $11,140 is going to generate a whole life death benefit of $174,063. So right off the bat, by transferring $100,000 into the generation legacy, we have turned that into a $174,000 death benefit right off the bat. Immediate leverage from day one, that's available if the client passes away after the first year. That $174,000 will be paid to the beneficiary's income tax-free. Additionally, a unique feature with Baltimore Life that really sets them apart here in this area uh, is if the client should pass away during that SPIA payout period, in this case the 10 years, Baltimore Life will not only pay this whole life death benefit of $174,000, they're also going to pay out whatever's left in that SPIA balance. So the beneficiary would have the option um, if death should occur in the first 10 years in this case, they would have the option to either continue receiving the SPIA payments of $11,140 a year for the remaining 10 years or the remaining years in that 10-year period, or they could elect to receive a lesser commutative value and a lump sum of that SPIA benefit. In this case, if the client were to pass away you know, in the second year, they would get that $174,000 plus the $71,300 uh, commutative value of that SPIA benefit. So a uh, significant, significant opportunity to transfer more wealth to the beneficiaries. Now, of course, that SPIA benefit um, has not been taxed yet, so that would be a taxable obligation potentially for the beneficiary, but the, the life insurance death benefit is so life insurance and it's going to be income tax-free. So uh, a, a great advantage there to make sure all of that wealth is going to go to uh, beneficiaries plus that, that uh, life insurance death benefit. Here we have the, the second page of the illustration, which kind of gives you the an idea of the whole life cash values and that uh, full death benefit. This is guaranteed all the way uh, through age 100, and it's designed to endow at age 100, where the cash value equals the death benefit. So again, a different type of concept than the National Western product, where National Western was an index product. Here at Baltimore Life, we have a whole life product with guaranteed cash values. Commissions here with Baltimore Life, uh, very uh, generous again. Um, ages 60 to 74, it's going to pay you 14%, uh, and 75 to 80 is 12%. So important to note, while these are technically two separate products, the commission is paid on that lump sum that's going into the concept of generation legacy. So uh, you're not getting commissioned on the SPIA and the life insurance policy separate. You're getting it all in one lump sum. <coughs> Pardon me based on the premium that's uh, paid into the generation legacy. So generous commissions, they're uh, rewarding not only the client, but you as well. So those are the two main products that uh, are out there in the qualified single premium life space. Um, who's a prospect? You know, we've hit on a number of these already here today, but virtually, you know, for single premium life, anybody that has funds that they don't anticipate taking distributions from during retirement. They're earmarked as leave behind money for the beneficiaries. They're going to be a prospect for single premium life. And depending on the type of funds, uh, very uh, certainly could be a prospect for a qualified single premium life. Clients that have annuities that are out of their surrender period. Again, not anticipating taking distributions from. This is a way to uh, generate some immediate leverage, significant leverage right off the bat on those annuity assets and uh, reposition them into a legacy product. Clients that are turning uh, 70, they're, they have qualified money out there. Again, not needed for income, but they're going to have to start taking RMDs. Uh, this is a great way to give purpose to those, those funds not needed for future income. Instead of receiving an RMD every year and not knowing what to do with it, 
just spending it or socking it away in the bank, this is a great way to, again, reposition those assets and provide purpose to those assets now in a legacy situation. Uh, clients retiring this year, uh, again, those that started taking RMDs, anyone that received an inheritance, they don't quite know what to do with, but they, they want to leave that inheritance to uh, beneficiaries or perhaps their favorite charity, um, can be a prospect for single premium life, um, even taking that 10% free withdrawal. So we're kind of stepping aside from qualified single premium life uh, in some of these situations here and, and could be more of a, a traditional single premium life uh, situation, but clients that have 10% free withdrawals available on annuities, maybe no uh, final expense plans in place. This is a great way to you know take a, a penalty free withdrawal from that annuity and get a paid up final expense policy. And then uh, also with uh, traditional single premium life, anybody that may have an older cash value life policy, uh, currently paying premiums on, maybe that policy is imploding, it's an older UL, uh, single premium life is certainly a tremendous way to salvage that cash value and make sure that policy is not going to lapse without value for something they paid in, uh, pay premiums in many years and uh, have nothing to show for it. This is a great way to at least salvage that remaining cash value and get a paid up policy that they're no longer going to have to pay premiums on. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. We are coming up on our time. Um, I appreciate everybody uh, taking some time and joining us here. Um, I'm going to take a quick look for any questions. All right, so I think, uh, yep, I just had uh, one question come up on the Baltimore Life and that uh, SPIA benefit. Absolutely correct. Again, that SPIA benefit is payable at death uh, with Baltimore Life if they pass away during that SPIA funding period. Uh, to clarify, National Western, um, while National Western does have a un unique value proposition with the IUL concept and providing some increased values uh, on that death benefit, if the insured should pass away during that SPIA funding period of 10 years or five years, that SPIA benefit stays at the company. It is not paid out as an additional benefit. So a uh, key difference there between the two, uh, Baltimore Life certainly very competitive in that area and paying that benefit out uh, in addition to the life and drugs death benefit. So uh, good question there, but uh, yeah, uh, certainly a key difference. But with that, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here. We are uh, coming up on our time. So uh, everyone, thank you again for spending part of your Friday morning with us. Uh, we we do know your vi time's valuable, and we appreciate you spending it with us uh, here at IAMS. I'll be following up with everybody uh, after the webinar, see if there were any other questions that may have come up, and uh, see if there's any cases that may have come to mind as we were walking through those products that you'd like to quote. Uh, certainly happy to provide quotes and help you get into this uh, great market. So uh, with that, have a great rest of your Friday, a great weekend. Uh, happy selling and we will be in touch. Take care.